YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? This is the Detail Guy, just back with another video. All right, this is part two of the T-top install of the trims and also of the molding. So again, we're going step by step so we can make sure that they get installed right. All right, today's focus is going to be on this back trim and the side trims. All right, the side trims here and the long roof trim. All right, and also the weather strip trays. So that's this piece here, this long piece here, as well as the roof side B pillar trim and the actual trays that will be installed for the weather strip. All right, so if you haven't done already, go ahead and add your foam tape to the back side of your, your piece, you don't need it. It don't need to be fancy, nothing fancy, just enough to keep this metal off of the, the paint or off of the body of the car, just giving it some breathing room, all right? Do the same thing to the roof trim. Um, if you got some still on the back of your uh, piece here, use that as well, all right? Uh, clean this portion of your weather stripping tray out as best as you possibly can. You don't want no big chunks in there get that stuff out so it'll be a smooth insulation of your new weather strip. all right? But what we're gonna try to do today with this weather stripping, of course on the top portion, you can see that. You got a screw there, screw here, and all the way across you got screws, all right? You wanna match up your trim with these holes, all right? You wanna take your trim, take the trim, the top trim first, match it up with the holes. Now mine, I kinda of straightened it out a little bit. Wasn't quite sure that it was supposed to be bent. So as I lock it down, I'm gonna be reforming it back to the shape of the roof. But you wanna get each hole matching the holes all the way across, all right? So once you get that set up in there, this roof B pillar panel here is more of the difficult one that you gotta pay attention to because there's so many different holes up this panel. You see a hole here, 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 and up there, a whole bunch of holes here. All right, and then one there. So what you gotta do, is you gotta find out which holes go for the roof panel. Because if you look on this panel here, you see a cutout right there, you see a cutout right there, you see a cutout right there. You got a hole here, hole there, and another hole here. Then you also have one down there. So you gotta figure out which holes go where. So what you wanna do is you wanna take this piece here and line it up from the top. If you see that, line it up from the top, cause mind you, this, these two pieces gonna go inside each other and mount in this one hole together. So you wanna get this piece on here, see exactly where it goes, all right? Get it down on the car, and then you wanna line all the holes up line all the holes up. Once you line up all your holes, you're gonna wanna get one, at least one of them in within this middle section, one of the holes in, and as you can see, there's holes in those cutouts. There's holes in those cutouts that you gotta pay attention to because that's where your molding plate will go that will hold your weather strip, all right? So then down here, you got another hole right there. This hole will go there. All right, so that point will mount down right there where that hole is, right there, all right? So now you can see exactly where your stuff is gonna be. So what you wanna do now is you wanna screw them down. You wanna get those parts screwed down, lock it on in. Then once you do that, since we already know where these holes are gonna be, you're gonna come back after you get that back plate on and you're gonna mount these. And these will be mount. This will be mounted. This tray will be mounted over the other tray. All right. So 
get the first part done first, which will be this portion. Get this portion done first, and the roof, at least get half of the roof done and this section, and then come back and put this part on. All right, so let's try to see how that's gonna go. All right, give me one second. I'm gonna try to set y'all up so you can see this and, and watch me kind of do it. All right. Now this ain't gonna be an easy task, but we're gonna try, we're gonna see what happens. You know, see if it's something, you know, that's gonna be easy for us all to do. So let's try, let's see, let's see. Give me one second, let me get y'all set up. Let me get y'all set up. All right, one second. One second, y'all, one second. All right, so like I said, we're gonna get this half done. And then we're gonna work our way back to the other side, all right? Shouldn't be nothing hard to do. The hardest part probably gonna be making sure that it's uh, everything's linked on like it's supposed to be. That's that's probably gonna be the hardest, the hardest part, y'all. So let's see how we can get this to, to look and then we're gonna go from there, all right? Let's see. want to do what I'm going to do. I want to get you some tape. And as you line these holes up, tape it in place. All right? It's going to help you out a lot. Save you a little time and trying to read. Put it back and all that other mess like that. You'll already have it down. Just tape it. Tape it in place. All right? Do that all the way across. Find the holes and tape it in place. All right. So I gotta drill this hole here because it has the cushion on it. You can't really see where the hole is. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this hole in. Bust this screw through already so that I can get it, get it where it needs to be. When it comes to this, all right. All right. Just line that screw up. Just lined up in there now. gonna help you out a lot. And then screw it in. And this is why sometimes you want to use a regular screwdriver.
get you a little stubby. Something you can push and screw at the same time. That's what we're doing right now. Get it going. Now, putting this screw in is going to help you as you line everything else up. All right? Help you line everything else up. So, see how that go? That's lined up there. So that should set that part up good. Now I gotta get all the rest of these done the same way. Alright? So let me lock this in. Lock down in there. See how it turns a little bit. It's gonna give me the ability. To do the same thing here. Trying to make sure I line all the holes up correctly. Right. Like I said, just take your time, don't rush trying to do this. Take your time, get it, get it in there right. Alright, and you ain't gotta keep worrying about it because you got it in there. Alright? Once you get it down good, the rest of these should be pretty easy. You just gotta get past the holes. having this tape on the back of it, kind of blocking the holes. So just push them through. Just push it through so you can see exactly where the holes are. Which will make your job a whole lot easier. That's it. Just push them through. Starting to take shape. Just do the same thing with each one of them. What's happening is it's reforming itself back, the metal is, to how it was supposed to be before it was been. Just take your time and put it in and get it all right. Alright? That side, don't push it all the way in. Taking this shape back, I want to take my, my mallet, my rubber mallet, a little later, and I'm going to tap this down just to smooth it out all the way down so it, so everything will fit like it's supposed to. Like I said, I, I kind of bent it, pulling it off, so it kind of uh, did kind of straightened out. I didn't want it to straighten out, but it, it straightened out. So um, 
Yeah, so I'm gonna change that up as I get the rest of these put on here, all right? So now that you got your top one on, now you gotta get the sides. This should be a little easier. This should be a little bit easier because now what you're gonna do is simply come back to where you started at, this point here, and you can see that. You're gonna work this back inside of this piece here. Because if, if you can see it, it has a piece on the back of here, and then also a piece on here, where this slides over the top of this one, and they lock in back here, when, and then once you screw them in, they lock in right there, all right? So let's get that on. get it started. Twist it on nice and tight. Once you tighten it on, you can remove this piece of tape here. And it's starting to take shape all the way across, all right? Now, once you do that, all your other holes, if you can see all the other holes, they're starting to line up, all of them. They're lining up like where they're supposed to be at. So once you lock it in place, lock this bottom one down. This one here at the very bottom. Lock that one in and then work your way back up this way, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. That's all locked in. So now, as you can see, there go all your holes. You can see all your holes now. Exactly everything that you're trying to do. All right? And you can kind of fit this in place like it's supposed to be to make sure it all fits. It's fitting like it's supposed to. Kind of shape it how it's supposed to be. Up against the body. Make sure it's on there like it's supposed to. 
and that's how it'll be, all right? Now, the next thing is, you gotta get this portion on, all right? But first, I'm moving a little fast. You gotta lock this one down, lock these two down. So, we we'll to take the screws, same thing. I'm gonna grab two new, two new screws for those. Take your screws. You bad boy on it. Lock it on in good, all right? See? Now it's locked. So they go up. Remain a hole, hole here, hole here. Those holes are now for your trays, all right? So this is going to go here. Got a hole there, another hole here. All right, that's gonna lock these trays down. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them locked in now. Lock this one on in. We use new screws for these. Right. It's really just this easy, but you gotta pay attention to what you're doing. You can't really hurt, mess up something. Or mess yourself up in the long run, all right? All right, just that simple, y'all. Now, when I get ready to put the weather stripping on, it's going to go through these two grooves and down through here, and it's going to lock down right here. Because uh, it's screw points. Let me show y'all this. It's screw points here, here, and here. That's gonna be for your weather strip. So when it comes through, it's gonna lock on to right here. This is where you're gonna put your little bit of glue at, down in this area, right up in here, all right? Then when you get ready to put all your other things on, some of your molding, the plastics that's gonna cover here, they screw here, all right? Now, we got to add the T-top door thing here, um, this, where the T-top locks go right here, up top. I'm sorry about that, y'all. T-top locks go up here, but this will be for your interior molders that go over this portion here all the way, all the way down. All right? So don't get this mixed up thinking that you're supposed to screw your weather stripping in one of these holes right here. No. The weather stripping going to come through here. Right, it's a screw point for the weather stripping right at the top, right there, and you'll see that when you lay your weather stripping across. And then it's two more holes that's going to be right here. These usually sometimes they are push pins, but if you want to use screws, you can use screws and lock them in. This is for your interior trim, uh, B pillar trim that's going to go across here. So be careful with that. So that's the way it would be um, now if it was. Uh, 
with it all locked on, all right? Now, we gotta go do the other side the same way, all right? Gotta go do the other side the same way. So let's go over to the other side and get that side locked out, all right? One second. And most of the work is already done, as you can see, it's already done. So all we really gotta do is add this portion here and the tray, and the back will be done. Then we can add the center portion over across there. So let me put this here so we can get a visual on that. All right, I'm hoping y'all following along and it's not confusing anybody, but it's really, it's really as simple as I'm doing it, all right? Excuse the little breaks in between, but I'm just trying to make sure you guys see exactly what's going on. Start with the first one up top, it's the same thing. This goes over that, put it in the groove, find the hole, slide it on down. Lock it in place, find the correct screw. Put it on in. And believe me, it'll take its shape back. Like when you when you initially took it off, okay, you had to pull it because it had so much seal and stuff on it from it being on there so long and being old. You had to pull it, so it kind of lost its shape, but. Once I finish this, put this on, I'm gonna show y'all how it takes its shape right back. You might have to take a rubber mallet. You may have to take a rubber mallet and tap some of the hump parts out and smooth it all out, but for the most part, it retakes its shape and you really don't have no issue. And if you're looking at this now, you see how it's going right to its spot to where it's supposed to be. You just might have to put a little pressure on it to get it to bend back where it's supposed to be. Once it bends back to where it's supposed to be, everything is locked in. So the next thing to do is to lock this, this one in. All right, so we'll lock this one in now, y'all. Lock it on in, all right? So now, that's in. So you got a whole screw point here, screw point here, screw point here, here, and here. 
those points you gotta lock in first. One, two. You gotta lock them in first. So let me grab the screws for those. You don't want to move too fast. You don't want to slant the screw. You keep your holes right. All right, get them on, get them tight. Again, you may have to press it down. Like I said, with this one, I'm gonna probably have to take the rubber mallet to get this to line up smooth like it's supposed to. All right, but they're on now. I have to add the tray on now, all right? That's real simple. Find your hole, which is right there. A hole there, and there. Everything's in place. Get the screws. Get the first one in. one in. down all the way across this is how your back wall is going to look let me give y'all a closer look that's how your back wall gonna look you got your outer trim your inner which is for your your mo your weather stripping the whole thing is lined up like this all the way across you see that all the way across and like i said you may have to take the hammer because you see how this looks here let me show y'all let me give you an example i'm gonna use the little mallet the rubber mallet tapping in place You don't want to hit it too crazy, just enough to get it back in place. Tap it on through. Make sure everything is in place. Same thing up top here. See how it straightens it right back out? Everything straightened back out. See it? And of course, you could tap it a little more, which I am, just to make sure it's right. But this back side is now done. Now you can't put your weather stripping in until you get that center portion put on. And once you get that center portion put on, 
then you can put your weather stripping on. So give me a minute, I'll hit you right back. <laughs> 